Hey friends, I thought you might like to tag along. Favorite daughter and I are gonna leave little art hugs around Omaha for people to find and just hopefully brighten somebody's day. I'll turn the camera around and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, we're looking at my art table. These are the artist coins. Emily came up with the idea. She made them out of clay, which is really fun. I splattered them. And I just put my initials on the back for fun. So you could collect them. Right now I just have them in two colors, sort of that yellow and green, and then the, the pink and the blue. The heart's fun. And then I've also painted a few ladybugs. I wanted to leave a little thank you at my art buddy's front door. We won't show their houses or their address, but they helped me with the chalk video, so I wanted to leave them a little happy surprise. And then just, we're gonna leave a few around town. I printed out some cards just from my inkjet printer. So it says an art hug for you. Uh, Emily has great ideas. She's, we used, she told me to use clear packing tape to basically laminate them. Isn't that smart? And then it just says if they want to post it on social media and wave hi, I think that would be really fun. And I've got a whole box of the coins. I don't have that many ladybugs painted, but I've got a whole box of the coins. So Em, if you'd put a little video in here how you make the, the coins, that'd be really fun. Hey guys, it's voiceover Emily. I've done this once before on a rooster painting. I think I voiced over a video. <laughs> that was, but that's, I think that's almost a year old at this point. Um, but I am using a polymer clay to make the art hugs, um, mostly because it's bendable and forgiving and polymer basically becomes a plastic in the end. So um, I use it for clay earrings that I make as well. So I'm used to working with this clay. I have, this is actually a pasta, um, like thickness, I don't know, a pasta machine. There we go. Pasta machine. <laughs> um, and I am running through just to get the air bubbles out, but also condition the clay. It makes it easier for me to work with the clay and it's more forgiving when I cut out a shape. I don't have to fight it as hard. Um, it's a lot better to work with it in the humid summer. It tends to condition a lot better than my clays get really, really hard in the winter, even though they don't dry out. Um, that's also why I like them because you can just leave them out and then they technically do not harden until you bake them. So after I cut all the shapes, I bake them in the oven and then they're good to go. And I give them, I pass them back off to my mom to paint on them. I'm just running it through a couple times to make sure that it's nice and even because this is going to be the slab that I cut my shapes off of. But at this point, I'm like, yes, that's a great slab. We'll use that one. <laughs> um, and then this is just me assembling. So really, this is also how I assemble my own earrings as I assemble them on the couch and watch Netflix while I do it. But um, I think we had had this made well, this was like two packets of clay. I think I made like 50. I don't know. Um, so I'm just speed assembling all of these and I'm putting on the jump rings and then I will be putting on the string afterwards. But here I'm just tying on the string that we ended up using as just so it's not a loose coin flying around and you could hang it on something or hook it on something. But I mean, really, it was just until somebody got it and they could do whatever they want with it. So I believe this is one of the colorways. Yep, the purple, the pink, and the blue. There's it in round. And then me, oh, look at all of them. Looked out great, they worked out great. And then here is me digging through the bottom to try and find, I loved this one. Cute little flower, all red on the heart. And then there was a warm tone one. Super cute. And this is me trying to do the art hugs. It's actually harder than it looks. So, and does a great job. <laughs> okay, back to the video. Hi. Hey, Emily. Thanks for joining me today. No problem. I'll always help. 
<laughs> I appreciate it. You you have awesome ideas. I'm gonna leave a rock and a card at the um, shelter. Would you call it a shelter up there at the park? The gazebo. Gazebo. Type thing? Gazebo. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Here, we could... I say tape it on the back. And then just lay it down. Here, actually. Like this Face thing. up. Are you filming all this? Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Tape it on the back and then... Cool. bugs uh one for cc one for jonas and then a couple of coins i don't want to show their house so i'm gonna go drop them off at their front door i don't know how to hold these <laughs> ready ready okay next i'm gonna drop off a little gift for um grace she's also one of my art buddies so i've got a little i don't know how to hold this so you can see it i got a little ladybug and then i'm gonna i've got two coins for her Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna leave one right here by these pretty flowers and a bench. See if I can do this one-handed. Aw. <laughs> okay, guys, if you're in Omaha, try to guess where I am. There's a little hint. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it right here. Hey, I'm home. I dropped off Emily at her house. Thanks for tagging along. That was a fun little adventure we had. I'm planning on just leaving the art hugs uh, when I go someplace out in a public spot where hopefully somebody will find them. Um, I'm not sure how many places I'll be going. The Delta virus, I think, has our local hospitals full. I'm not sure if they're full, you know, completely full, but it's definitely rising quickly, which is just so sad, so sad to hear. But I hope this brightened your day. Great big happy art hugs and I look forward to chatting with you soon. Bye guys. <laughs>